Good morning, we're at our site today. It's uh, really, really low winds today, so, but other than that, it's a really, it should be a really smooth flight. Uh, most of the winds are right around five miles per hour, six miles per hour, somewhere in that range. So we'll get our gear set up and we'll see what type of uh, morning that we get to fly into. So some site conditions, as you can see, got very little wind, if any at all. It says the wind is coming from over there, I'm moving back over there, so I'm gonna set up as far as I can. Uh, with the low wind, I want to make sure I give myself enough running room because I'll probably need more of a runway this time around. Uh, also, the ground is a little wet, so I use the prop blast to kind of clear out as much of the dew as I can. Uh, so, it's not bad to get a little bit of dew on the wing, but each time you get it a little bit more wet, it gets a little bit more heavier. So, we'll hopefully nail this launch and be in the sky soon. So I think I hear a helicopter off in the distance somewhere over there. Not sure. As we all know, those that fly paraboaters, those are sky trainers, so I want to stay far away from it. Um, my airspace isn't usually too traveled. Occasionally I'll get a prop plane or two that fly by. Um, maybe an occasional helicopter, but be, just to be safe, I have these um, flashing strobes on here that I can turn on, give myself a little bit more visibility, even if it's bright in the light. Uh, better to be safe. Uh, I'm sorry. Thankfully, whatever was over there sounded more like a lawnmower because it just died down. So that's good. I was kind of worried that I was going to have a helicopter flying over. And since I got maybe only an hour left of flight time before it gets to midday thermaline, um, it kind of went to ruin the day if I would have had to stay clear of some of my areas that I wanted to fly in today. So, well, crap, now I hear something else. Uh, hopefully a lot of people are just out mowing their lawns or something. So something I'm curious on, does anybody else get a pre-flight jitters? I would put it more, not in a, like an extreme anxiety, but kind of an excitement before I get in the air. I usually try to listen to some music and tunes and just take my time so that way I can get everything laid out properly uh, before I get in the air and that way I don't make any mistakes. But does anybody else get that? Alright. Be a run for daylight.
Oh, besides a shitty landing, uh, hit the grass pretty good. Just a little across the, the ground. I think it's because of this rotor. I also tried to force my landing, I think, more than anything else. But all the rotor coming off the top of these trees when I got below there, it's pretty turbulent. As you can see, I had to do quite a bit of adjustment. I'm going to look into the other field over there, see if maybe I could use that. Uh, it's got a lot more, but man, that was a hell of a flight. So as I was putting away my gear, I realized I made a boner, uh, and it trims out still. So that may have had an additional impact on my landing. So put it together that I'm still somewhat of a beginner. Rotor, slick ground, overcorrecting, and trims out. That was a boner move. Okay, let's do a little quick car debrief. That was a lot of fun. That was probably the most fun I've had on a paramotor ever. Um, I think that's mainly because my skill set and my confidence are starting to go up and up and up. I was real close to doing some foot dragging, real close to doing some touch and goes, which I know I could probably do easily over on that one field. But either way, I started to really feel like the wing uh, understood me and I understood the wing. I also started to feel my engine and what it could do. Just that neat interlocking uh, with both my wing and my engine to really make me feel comfortable. I was starting to be a little bit more aggressive with some of my turns, get a little bit lower. It was a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed that flight. I can't explain it more than anything else uh, than the fact that it really reignited my passion for paramotoring. And man, if it wasn't midday, I would have put some more gas in that thing and go tore up some more of the, the farmland over here. So some things to take away. I still have some issues with landings. Um, that was not so much my flair or anything like that. It could have been I misjudged it or so. But as always, I continue to learn. I'll go back, review the video, see what I did wrong. But just get back up in that saddle and keep on flying. So with that, have a good day.